Hey everyone, Regal Reviews here. It is White Rice Wednesday, which means it's time for my Survivor recap. So, to recap on tonight's episode, Deshaun is starting to see through Shan, and I think it's so beautiful. He's starting to see that she's the one controlling everything, and Shan doesn't seem to like Deshaun anymore. She's basically saying like, oh, he's so immature. Oh, we had to vote with him but you voted with him that's what i don't understand she saying like oh how immature he is but she went along with him anyway i mean if she was a big girl and she was mature she would vote um she wouldn't have based her vote off of what deshaun said you know what i mean so, and deshaun and this is another thing i don't understand either deshaun being the bigger person apologized and shan says oh well I'm sorry you felt that way or like like it was kind of a half-assed apology on her end and then she's basically strategi trying to strategize so she doesn't really mean it so yeah it's unbelievable how much power she has in this game and how much control she has over everybody so hopefully you know they'll see it and you know get her out Nasir is mad at Heather because he thinks that she put his name down and turns out she did. Um, she asked Evie when Evie came around if, um, what did I say? And said, you said Nasir. So, yeah. You know, caught Heather in a lie. Heather got some more airtime tonight. Uh, we learned that Ricard is completely deaf in his right ear and major props to him for being out here. I know that definitely definitely can't be easy. I mean, he has to play twice as hard as anyone else. Like, say what you want about him, but it's really amazing that he's out there and has this opportunity to be on this big social game. And Shen is so fixated on wanting Erica gone. Amazing, right? Hmm. So he gets an immunity challenge and they have to balance on this perch and hold on to this uh, bar, bar behind their head. And two people will win immunities and they're, so, they're split into two tribes of five. So, and they're also playing for chicken and beef stew. Yeah, if, even, if my t even if I was on Survivor and my team won, I would drop out for that because... I'm vegetarian, so I can't I eat it. So even if I won, I'd give it to somebody who can't eat it. So you got one team of Erica, Shan, Ricard, Nasir, and Heather. The other team, you got Danny, Liana, Xander, Evie, and Deshaun. Erica ends up winning immunity. So congrats to Erica on winning immunity. And Xander ends up winning immunity for... The other team, and it's extra funny because their original plan was to split the votes between Erica and Xander, so now they have to scramble. And now teams are separated, so on one hand, you got Xander who wants to try to get out the big dogs, and at this point, I think it's very important. Now, the biggest dog on that alliance would be Shan, but her biggest ally seems to be Leanna. So the smart move would try, be tr to try to get Leanna out. And that's what Evie suggests Xander that they do. And Leanna, uh, Leanna's pulling a page out of Shan's book and is demanding that Xander give her one of his, um, give his idol. I'm like, how stupid does he, does she think he is? Like, Xander's a very good player. Like, do you really think he's gonna give you his idol? I mean, you could easily play it right then and there and save yourself. He's not stupid. On the other one, you got Nasir telling Heather that it's her tonight. And Heather just looks like the easy vote. And then Deshaun says, and I think this is freaking hysterical, she says that this is Shan's, it's basically Shan's clan. So, yeah, he's starting to see through Shan and see that he controls everything. And, yeah. And you have, on the other side, you've got Ricard is saying, is having an argument with Shan, of course. Because in this game, it's either Shan's way or the highway. 
if nothing goes her way, she's either going to vote you out or she's not gonna, she's not going to listen to you. And Ricard basically tells them that Heather, it makes no sense to get rid of Heather because Heather's not a threat. Heather doesn't have any idols or anything. Nasir and Shan does. So Shan, he, she, he tells Shan about it, but it's like talking to a brick wall because she's saying, no, I want to get rid of Heather and Erica. I want to get rid of Heather and Erica. I want to get rid of Heather and Erica. And because Erica won immunity, no choice but to get rid of Heather. And Ricard's trying to tell her, well, he's the one that got immunity idol. And she's, no, no. And he said, and he said basically the same thing. If it's not Shan's way, then it's like, why are you still with her? She's like bringing your game down. So, it, it, he basically says that it shouldn't be about what one person the whole game shouldn't revolve around what what one person wants and yeah i agree it's ridiculous how these people are just bowing down to shan so the first tribal council they explain you know how heather is the easy vote and nasir doesn't want to put his idol on somebody and i agree i wouldn't want to put my idol on anyone unless i have immunity you know what i mean and Shan stupidly admits that her, Ricard, and Nasir work together. It's like, as much power as she has in this game, she's making really big fuck-ups. Because she just admitted that her, Ricard, and Nasir are a pair. They already know her and Liana are a pair. They could see that Danny and Deshaun are included in that. So that they know that she's in the majority alliance. And you saw... How she blew up Liana's advantage, say, saying that to Tiffany and that she has this advantage. So then everybody else found out. So it's like, come on, people. And it ended up being a tie between Nasir and Heather. And what happens in this situation is that Nasir and Heather can only vote for each other. And you, so they go to the revote. And you can only vote for Nasir or Heather. And it ended up being Nasir that went home for Isle in his pocket. And second tribal council, at this point, it's important to see who's um, who's genuine. It's really important to form those bonds and relationships because very good jury management. And it's very hard to see like who who's lying versus who's being genuine. It ends up being Evie that goes home. And I don't freaking get this at all. So last week they wouldn't flush out any of the idols because they saw Tiffany as the bigger threat. But this week they were all about trying to flush the idols between Shan and Nasir. Because they say, oh, that's a big threat. we got to flush these idols. So why wasn't it a big deal last week, but it's a big deal this week? And why the hell wouldn't Xander not play his idol on Evie? Unless... He thought somehow that she would be safe. I don't know why he wouldn't have done that because he plays the idol for Evie. He would have sent Liana home, who is Shan's biggest alliance member. You take Liana out of that picture, she's nothing without her. And Deshaun is already looking like he wants to step away from that. So then Danny and Shan would then become on the bottom. So that literally made no sense. It was very good to see. Queen Tiffany out there. It was fucking awesome. It, it was really funny at one point when Heather says, it'd be some miracle if some idol could just follow this guy. Cue the idol. And then this big ass bug falls on Tiffany. And kudos to her. She kept her composure. I mean, a lot of people would be freaking out over that. So, yeah. Um, comment down below what you thought of tonight's episode. If you want to check out Survivor, it is on Wednesdays, 8 p.m. on CBS. Or you can watch it on Paramount+. Plus. Until next time, stay regal.